Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And y'all already know, today we're going to be doing a general message. I'm going to let the cards fly. I'm going to give you some advice. I'm going to get into your business a little bit. Yep, I am. I'm going to get into the past people business that you used to deal with. I'm going to get into your present person business. I'm going to get into everybody business, okay? So before I even do that, you know I gotta light my Palo Santo. <laughs> gotta come to you in prayer, ask that you open up my third eye so that I can give the collective a cognitive message on everything they need to know. Also gotta ask that any energies that are not mine, any entities that may be lingering, I ask that you send their busted selves back to hell. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Now let's pop the lid off the secrets uh, of what's going on. <clears throat> God, give me some messages for the collective. What do they need to know for today? What does the collective need to know for today? What are the secrets for today? Eee! What else does the collective need to know? What else does the collective need to know? <laughs> but you knew this already You can't trust a lot of people in your life right now Especially because you finally doing what you said you was going to do You finally making waves You finally making moves And you finally learning how to say no And detach from people that you know you cannot trust God is telling you somebody that's in your life right now Somebody that was in your past You cannot trust them They don't got no good intentions for you And I'm hearing they are trying to come back into your life To cause you burdens To give you their burdens Ew. You, what do you look like? A trash can? Oh, we don't we don't take trash over here. <laughs> no. Because what people see something in you that they don't see in themselves. They see greatness in you and they see nothingness lack in themselves. This person is having an affair. If you're dealing with somebody right now and you're feeling like that you can't trust them because they're giving you sneaky vibes, it's because they're having an affair. You're the side piece. And if you're not the side piece, they're having an affair on you. There's somebody got a side piece out there. So don't trust this person. And the past person that you dealt with, they did put you in an affair. And this person is going to be on child support either way it go. So like I said in the beginning, that they're trying to come back to your life to give you their burdens. It's because they're going to have no, nothing, nobody to fall back on. So they think that they can fall back on you. Let them fall, <laughs> but not on you. So speak your truth. When this person come back around, hit them with that, no, thank you. Hit her with that, you good, I'm good on that. And if there's somebody that's in your life right now, I'm going to need you to hit them with the get your shit and get out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Because they really hate how spiritual you are. You got family members that hate how spiritual you grew up and how you how you are now. You got friends that look at you with the side eye because they can't understand that you are gifted and they're not. You got relationships that people make it seem like you're doing witchcraft on them or they can't trust you. And really, you're the one who can't trust them. Because God loves you. I love you. And that's all that matters. So you know what? It don't matter if the people that's in your life right now have to be dust it off and throw it away it's only because God is protecting you and he's going to send you better these people are going through mental health issues they've been had mental health issues because how could they hurt you and not be hurt how can somebody be okay with playing mental games with you and not feel mentally retarded mental problems because what uh uh so God is asking you to get into, and get in control of yourself I mean, emotionally. So stop thinking so, you know, high of people or stop constantly thinking with your heart. Think, think with your mind. Stop allowing people to get into your heart when they ain't even shown you no proof that they are even good people. Spiritual birth, confirmation. Because you a good person. Not everybody are, a good pe are good people out here. Everybody's searching for a come up. A savior, entertainment, something to screw on, somebody to pass by time with. They don't be having their heart in it, but you do. 
And that's how you get keep getting hurt. So start thinking less emotionally and start thinking with your mind. Think logically because you don't need that logic to get to where you need to be in life and to keep people out your life that you know damn well you can't trust. You got people from your past and present doing candle magic on you. Why? Because they want to get into your head. They want to give you thoughts of them when you know damn well they're not for you. They want to get in your head and cause you confusion. So that you don't know what path to go down. They want to get in your get in your energy so that you don't feel like yourself. So that you can't tap in. Especially when, it caught, when it's needed to see if they have good intentions or not. They don't want you to see the devil in them. They doing candle magic to try to stop you. Try to stop your, your fate. Your money from coming in. Your blessings from coming in. But they don't know. Playing with the devil's magic. He's going to come collect. And when he comes collecting, he not going to leave nothing behind but ruin. And then you got people that's throwing you evil eye, hating on you because you becoming who you are meant to be. You've been standing in your power because that is who you are and who you are meant to be. You have a beautiful heart, beautiful body, beautiful, beautiful mind, beautiful soul. And they hate you for that. Why they, why they hate? Why they just can't congratulate? It's because a hater gonna always be a hater. An evil person gonna always be an evil person. They don't want you to be great. They don't want you to show the world how great you are. They don't want you to continue to just be yourself. So they sit up all day watching you, hoping and praying that you fail when they ain't doing nothing but, but basically building upstairs for you to get to where you need to be. They literally are laying down their self for you to step on them, literally crunch 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 on your way to the top fools <laughs> there is justice due to your name because god is looking down on these weirdos he's looking and watching these weirdos do magic instead of going for their purpose because they then not made their purpose into stopping you and god is going to make them a footstool yep so that you can step on them on your way to the top you may be a Gemini or they may be a Gemini, but it's because I'm getting a feeling the reason why Gemini is coming out it is because, oh, where, where are you? Two minds, this person, these people are delusional, are sick in the head and bipolar, multiple personalities, multiple demons. But in the end, they're going to regret it. They're going to regret everything they said about you behind your back. Everything they said to you to make you feel less than. To make you feel like you can't trust yourself. Like you can't believe, shouldn't believe in yourself. They're going to regret not holding your hand when you needed somebody to hold your hand through the fire. They, they wasn't, they're going to regret not patting you on the back and telling you good job when you were out, out there fighting for your life. Fighting for your dream. Fighting for your place in this world. Instead, they tried to get they tried to be a blockage and they are going to be sitting in regret and they are regretting it now because they are seeing your progress. No matter what they try to do, they keep seeing you progress. A fool. Huh. They're going to be sitting there watching you collect all your gold while they keep on looking on the ground for pennies. So God is telling you make a wish. Let's let's make a wish together because we both deserve a wish right now. Amen. We bringing them in, baby. And they ain't going to be in regret. Because, ooh, they don't want me to speak to you, collective. <laughs> but I'm going to keep speaking to you. Because you a divine feminine. They even, they crushed you up, divine feminine. That's what they want you to do. They want to ball you up and throw you away. They want to take you out. Literally. And divine masculine. You in here, too. These people want to knock y'all. These people really want to knock y'all out with the spiritual work. But they don't understand that y'all are highly protected. My baby, y'all are star seeds. <laughs> highly protected. Came here with guardian angels ready to smack the shit out of somebody. And they really thought that just because you were alone, that you are alone. You're never alone. Never alone. Because you got toxic people around you. 
toxic people from your past. These are the people who don't want to see you make it. These are the people who sit up all day trying to make sure that you don't make it. These are people who try to come into your life, who've been in your life, who gaslight you, love bomb you, trick you so that they can stay around long enough to be able to reap the reap your blessings. Spiritual burp, because it's the truth. These people don't want nothing, nothing from you, but what you can give to them and what you can bring into their life because you are a divine masculine, divine feminine, and you come with gifts. You get into somebody's life and their life start getting blessed. You have guidance so that you can help people and you be helping people get about their situation. And they so toxic that they don't care about you. They only see you as an opportunity, a charger port so they can come and hook up to you and benefit off of your energy. Draining you dry with their toxicity and their toxic behavior. And they doing mirror magic on you. <laughs> but it's only going to backfire. So the reflection that they looking at is going to go on them. Do they not know who you are? Or they finna find out. <laughs> uh, Cause you out there. And I'm proud as hell of you. You making something out of nothing. See. You done finally. You done, you done got up. Brush yourself off. And you start doing stuff that's for you. You start going out for your goals. You start doing what makes you happy. You start actually taking time out for yourself. You stop pouring into people that wasn't pouring into you you start making sure you check the person facts the car facts because what there are people out here who just want a savior who just want attention who just want a place to lay their head when they ain't got no bitches i'm just saying then you got your exes stalking you Divine masculine, divine feminine. <laughs> I know why they're stalking you. Because you everything in one. You look good. You smell good. You screw good. You love good. You support. You're, 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 provide, you're a provider. You invest in your relationships. You build people up with real love and purity. And did I mention you look good? Yeah. So they're stalking you. Not only are they stalking you because you're glowing up even more than what you already were. Yeah. Yeah. They're stalking you because they're watching your growth. <laughs> they're watching you step up the ladder day by day. And they're just like, damn. <laughs> damn. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so right now. If you're feeling lonely out there, God is telling you, go get yourself an animal to love on because you don't need a, a animal that's in a person, an untrustworthy witch, devil. Get you something that's going to actually love you unconditionally, like a little kitty. I want a black kitty real bad so I can fatten it up and just smoosh on it and kiss on it. So you just need to get you an animal, even if it's a bird. Something that actually loves you for you and does not have any ill intentions. Even though animals love us a lot because we feed them. But, you know, they grow to love us for real eventually. Facts. <laughs> and these people that are doing magic on you, they're finna lose their spiritual gifts. God finna just walk on up in their life. Oh, you doing magic? Give me that. <laughs> oh, you know how to do spell work? Give me that. Oh, you know how to astral project? Give me that. Oh, oh, you use your intuition for bad. Give me that. And so you don't even got to worry about these people for too long. They finna get got, literally. And don't let these people hold you down. Don't get sad. Don't let people energies that you know ain't yours make just, you know, get into you. When you start feeling weird, go take you a shower, go meditate, pray a little bit. And ask that it's being sent right back to the owner. And yeah, I say love and light, but sometimes you ain't got to be nice. God, send it back to them because they really playing. Boom, tower moment. And you ain't even have to, you ain't even have to do a thing. That's what they get for playing with the right one, divine masculine, divine feminine dummies. 
and then they got the nerve to do moon magic. You are a force to be reckoned with. Do you see how hot you got these people? Do you see how scared you got these people? How nervous you make these people? How less than you, you actually make them feel? Because it's what they are. You make them feel, you, you, you snatch the mask off that they be trying to come around, walk around like they macho and, you know, all that in a bag of chips. But when you step into the room, you make them feel like what they are. Nothing, 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 I'm telling you. And that's why they're trying to stop you. Because if you make them feel like that now, and you ain't even got to the point in your life where you are bossed up, bossed up, they know they're going to feel like a crumb when you do. But all that magic going back to them, and it's only coming, the only magic that's going to you is and is heightenment is more enlightenment you, they're making your powers your spiritual growth rapid they're only making blessings come to you rapidly like they're doing you a favor they're ending their self while they help you elevate what i tell you they are being made into a footstool so that you can crunch 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 your toes on their head on the way to the top because hmm. you deserve to be treated right god I don't like these people he don't, he don't respect what they doing, especially when you got a good heart. And you deserve to have people around you, friends around you, family members around you, lovers around you, associates around you that actually care to treat you right. That will hurt them to hurt you. A lie could never come off their lips without them feeling like they just bit their tongue. And you are about to attract that. God is going to usher those people into your life. But first, you need to cut off the people that mean you no good. Because what I keep telling you, you are natural beauty, naturally handsome. You care about yourself. A lot of people don't. They only care about themselves when somebody else is watching. Oh, I got a new person in my life, so I guess I'll care about myself for a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm starting a new job, so I guess I'll go get my hair done. Not you. You care about yourself on the daily. Every day is your B-Day. This past person, past people in your life, even you may even have some current people in your life who are just egotistical. They see you as property and they see you as competition because they're living in their ego, childish, immature, stuck in their ways, and they never change. And then they got anger issues. So seeing you be the real you, seeing you be your best version of yourself every day and constantly working towards the even better you makes this person green with envy. They done turn into the Hulk. I must stop them. Yeah, who are you stopping? You're only stopping yourself. You're only stopping your own growth trying to stop somebody that is of the divine who has nothing but love in their heart. And I'm talking to a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn too, Capricorn. Or this buster may be a Capricorn. And I can say, if a Capricorn is in their low vibration, they are evil. Very evil. Very, very egotistical. With anger issues. So beware if you got a Capricorn in your life that are showing those signs, cut them off. Cause that's who we talking about but if we just talking about capricorn in general hey capricorn anyway let's get you some more messages let me go to the next day <sighs> gotta give me some messages for not capricorn am i talking to a capricorn eris it may just be a lot of capricorns in here hey booze Anyway, give me some messages for the collective. Give me some messages for my collective. What do they need to be aware of? Expose some secrets to me so that I can expose the secrets to them. Give me the knowledge. Give me the wisdom to expose the truth. To enlighten the collective. To lighten their load. To have them aware of everything that's going on and that needs to be exposed. What needs to be exposed? All right. That these people are selfish, egotistical, with anger issues, and they're jealous of you. Confirmation. They jealous in a the motherfucker. 
mad as hell <laughs> and have the nerve to be selfish the reason why they're losing everything can't can't manifest nothing is because they're selfish what i tell you selfish and that's why you can't trust them because they only have intentions of making they self better off the back of you This person don't even love themselves, so how they can they love you? They so selfish. They don't. They don't. Even, these people don't love themselves. That's why they 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 don't feel pain when they hurt you. It's nothing to them. That's why you shouldn't trust them. They be stalking you from a fake page, lurking, watching you, probably comment comments things on your on your pictures or on your videos to try to make you feel you know down. But really, you just take it as another view. It's way wasting their time. This person was a user. You got people in your life that are using you, trying to use you because they see that you're on a rise. Meanwhile, they're losing it all. This person has a foot fetish, but ain't nothing wrong with a little foot fetish. But they got a foot fetish. They don't tell nobody that though. <laughs> your angels are, what? Cause your angels be stepping for you. All that magic that they doing. God sending his angels and your guardian angels to dance on their head. <laughs> Since they like feet so much, dance on their head. Yeah. And then they escort secretly. Selling all that. Selling, them, selling that booty hole and that dangling and that JJ And that mouth. Every crevice for a little change. Because they ain't got no money. They losing more money than they actually can bring in. And they are the type of person that they are addicted to sex. Addicted to thrills. Addicted to, you know, feeling like something. Feeling wanted. Cause they don't even love themselves. They don't have no morals. <laughs> and all they think about is you and the way that you used to have sex with them. It's something about your sex. It's because you are divine. You have you come with tantric sex. See, with tantric sex, if you use it right with the right person, you can manifest in anything that you want. Literally, you want a new car, set your intentions, and have tantric sex. Have tantric sex. Make love real slow. And I bet you get what you want. But this person misses how when y'all did it, it made them feel like they can go do anything. Go and get it. See, you poured yourself in this person. You wasn't trying to manifest a thing, but healing for them. And when they were with you, they felt like they were healing. And now that you're not there no more, they feel stuck. Selling their body. <laughs> And they stuck in a low vibration. And you know with you being a high vibrational being, you can't be around nothing that's too low for too long without feeling like something ain't right. I can't trust them. And you knew it was unsafe to be around this person, to be with this person because they sell their body. It's just something about them that just had you like, mm -mm, they already lie too much. They, you were already seeing they were sneaky. That they were a little thottish, very loose. And you didn't even know how far it went. This person was selling they sell. And they, I'm hearing, and they sold they sold for just for some money to try to keep up with the Joneses. You got somebody in your life or in your past that just misses the intimate cuddle times with you. But why would you want to cuddle up with a snake? You see them for who they are now. So banish thee. Yeah. Your life will be never be the same collective you are stepping in to the blessings you are stepping into a pond full of gold nobody can come with you no one because you by yourself you just surround around a bunch of people that are using you that are in your life because you bring something to them it could be happiness it could be fun it could be a sense of not being alone they're just using you and God is ushering you to the front by yourself. And then you're soon going to find and meet your twin flame, your one soul. Somebody that can pour into you like you pour into them. Somebody that has the same frequency of you. So when y'all do make love, blessings on blessings on blessings that will lead to marriage. Not just a one night stand. Not just a friends with benefits, not just a pointless relationship that does have doesn't even lead to marriage. You will be finding your one soul, your twin flame, 
or this past person was supposed to be your twin flame but they decide to stay in a low vibration they decide to keep on being trash and now they're demoted and God is giving them a tower moment losing it all so now they're in a, a sense of being vindictive because they feel like you the reason why they going through what they've been through and you ain't the reason but you are well, I guess you could say you are the reason but it wouldn't have been like that. God wouldn't have came and kicked them upside the head if they treated you right. See, you would have been a blessing instead of a lesson. So they need to be blaming themselves. See, this is the type of person that don't want to take no accountability. Egotistical. They do no wrong, but they be doing the wrong. And then they got a double life escort selling it. Yeah. <laughs> but they watching you like crazy, hawking you. Surveillance on you. Got their friends watching you. Family members watching you. They watching you. They probably even got their side pieces watching you. Because they a charming devil. They don't be meaning nothing that they say. They just say whatever they got to say to get their way. Very, but I always say, be very aware of the smooth talkers. The ones that hold you close when you know that you done caught them in a lie. The ones who have way too many opposite sex of friends. They're the cheaters of the world. I'm telling you. Make them put their person. See, look, divine masculine, divine family, you growing up so so perfectly, so in, in divine time, and you already was a, a threat. But now you becoming a triple, triple, quadruple, quadruple. I don't even know if that's a word, but we going to go with it. Threat, because you make people put their person up. You make people feel nervous about you being around they people. Why do you think people get weird with you when you have friendships and they never work out because they swear that you're trying to take their person? But it was their person that was eyeing you. You were just doing, you were just being you. You wasn't trying to take nobody because you don't want somebody else's person. You want your own person. But anyway, because you're the baddest threat. And that's why people hate you. That's why people come into your life to try to use you up to learn off of you. To try to destroy you because they honestly are threatened by you. Jealous of you. Because one day what? And people know this. One day you, they're going to see you on a TV screen. While they're watching you in real life, they're going to have to watch you on their screen. They ain't even going to be able to turn it off. <laughs> and that's their karma. Because they didn't believe in you. They thought that they can just ruin you. They thought that they can play with you. Stomp on your heart. Stomp on your soul. And you will just be down for the count. But you took that pain and you made it into a big bag. <laughs> so call back your power. Especially from people who are using your energy to try to conquer up spirits. Allow them to feel lack. Allow them to feel your presence of not being there. Allow them to understand and realize that you are gone for the rest of their life. Now you gonna have, and now you got people that's desperate for your love, but they're not desperate to love you. They're just desperate for the feeling that you provide to them. See, they just use you, and then they have the nerve and want you to risk it all for them. This is the charming devils in your life. They want you to put your life on the line for them, but they wouldn't even put their jacket down over a puddle for you to walk by for them. For you. They, they want to do a thing for you. It's too much. Oh, the small things that you ask for are just too much. But then they ask you to risk your life. That's too much. Because these people want you sick and in poverty. They want you to be just like them. Because their tower moment, they're constantly being loose with their body. It's the, it done brought them into poverty and sickness. As it is. Yeah, no money on their card. Yeah, <laughs> and they spend all day trying to tear you down, trying to conjure up things to energies and demons that can come in your life and people that can tear you down. They try to do things to tear you down, but it don't work. See, you on a vibration up here, they're down here. They can't touch you because what you do, still you rise, a rising phoenix. They can't touch you. 
Meanwhile, they out there being drug addicts, drinking their life away, popping their life away, smoking their life away because they have nothing. They're losing it all. They have mental problems. They don't have people in their life that make them feel like a drug, like you are a drug. Now they have to go and get drugs to get their feeling again. And these people going to court, legal fees, more money gone. But you over there following your spiritual path and God is telling you to keep going because you are on the way around that rainbow to go collect your gold. And God said, that's a yes. Yeah, ushering you to the front. And that's the message from God. I tip my hat to you. Because these people are non-genuine. People that's in your life right now are non-genuine. Only around because they see that you can bring them success. It can be in the smallest things. But anyway, a recap. The people that wronged you, they're literally walking into their tower moment. God is literally punching them upside the head. For what? Playing with you. Doing magic on you. You got people that's in your life and in your past life doing magic on you to try to stop you. But God has grabbed your hand and he's ushering you to the front anyway. To your blessings. Why they have to watch you become the biggest thing they've ever seen. TV. Magazines. Social media. Influence. You are on your way up. You all the way up. Meanwhile, they're going to be stuck. <laughs> going through court fees, legal fees, losing everything. Laying around with STDs. Yep. Now let's get you some angel numbers so that, you know, you feel a little bit better. <sighs> and your spirit is lifted. God, give me some angel numbers for the collective. Give me some angel numbers for the collective. bottom of the deck is horse you got independence you ain't need nobody but yourself and god period freedom god is literally snatching you up out of the den full of lions the den full of snakes he's literally picking you up and placing you on your path because you believed you continued to have a good heart good intention and god only bless people for living like that nobleness you yourself <laughs> confidence you love yourself believe in yourself <laughs> heroism see you genuinely be having good intentions for people genuinely want to help people you be trying to save people that just want to bring you down but God is saying continue to be like you continue to be yourself because that ain't going to do nothing but keep you in the highest room full of the, with the highest people and then you got in competition well, like I said people see you as competition instead of learning from you they try to stop you which only makes them into a footstool because why would you try to stop greatness now we gotta dance on your head <laughs> dragonflies because you're going through change, transformation, adaptability, and self-realization. You done learned yourself. You done found out your path. And guess what? That transformation is causing change in your life. Angel number zero, you got some upcoming shifts. Literally. Your life will never be the same. It's all the way up from here. Caterpillar. Luck, good health, and joy. No matter what type of magic is thrown your way, you continue to stay in good health. They gonna only give you more luck and you're gonna be happy at the end of the day. Period. So they wasted their time. They only made you into the greatest thing walking. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. They did. And they're gonna feel foolish. But anyway, if you haven't heard this today, I love you. 
And I'm so proud of you. And never, ever, ever, ever stop being you. I don't care who don't like it. And um, thank y'all for all the love and support. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.